Hi there, this is Marlena. Welcome to this awesome channel. As I was thinking back um, to the weirdest gift I ever got, I wanted to share this with you. It's very important that you stay to the end and um, <laughs> see how your take is on what's going on in your life. So anyway, let me go back to this um, since we're near Christmas time. It came back to my mind, and I just feel like I need to share it with you today. So the weirdest gift I ever got came from an experience of taking family members out to an event that um, I was the designated driver of, and um, that was always the case with me. Um, <laughs> driving people around to keep them safe, okay? And it sometimes backfired on me, which in this case it did. So we are at this event, and um, there was a lot of good music going on, thousands of people there. And my one family member wanders up to go get more, you know, alcohol and snacks and comes back with this person. This person was... Um, you know, unable to make it home, okay, in their condition. So they were going to leave their vehicle there. And she said, oh, isn't this person good looking? Um, they don't live far from you. Can you bring them home? My mistake was saying yes, of course. So I dropped them off, okay drop the family members off and go home like normal. Next morning, phone rings. Okay, it is this person that I rode home. And I said, how did you get my number? Okay, so family member gives my phone number, my address to this person. Okay, figuring that we would hit it off some way. And, um... This person says, I left my jacket in your car. I said, wonderful. So they're coming over to get it. All right. Now, <laughs> they come over with a beautiful car. Tell me they want it in this raffle and all this stuff. How they got a great business going and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Got rid of them. They start calling my home constantly. I am hanging up on them, you know, trying to divert them away from me. I have no interest in this person whatsoever. Um, so anyway, the more I ignored them, the more they would, you know, keep pestering me and coming to the door, this and that. So they start showing up on a bicycle, okay? So they go from this beautiful car to a bicycle, all right, and then asking me, um, if I want to go out to dinner and stuff, and I'm thinking in my mind laughing, yeah, sure, on the bicycle, you know, so anyway, goes on and on, so anyway, um, it's near Christmas time, this person shows up, all right, my cousin lets them in when I said, do not go near the door, you know, because I know they're due, they, they had a pattern, you know, so opens the door anyway, lets them in, they invite themselves to dinner with us because I was cooking. I'm like, oh, goodness. So anyway, we got rid of them after a while. And so um, it's Christmas. I get up in the morning. I said, well, I got to go out, you know, visit family and stuff. So <laughs> I go to leave my home. And I open the, you know, first door. There was a screen door. I open the second door. And in between the two doors... There is <laughs> the weirdest gift I ever got, okay? A squished beer can is in the door. I said, oh, wonderful. So I pick it up, throw it in the garbage. I go towards my car. What is under the tire? A squished beer can, okay? So the weirdest gift I ever got was a squished beer can from this person that was an alcoholic, okay, and the vibration did not match mine whatsoever, so there was no connection from my angle, and so their um, 
entities that they were traveling with, um, unaware of the alcoholic entities, were angered that they could not get a foothold in my life, okay? So, what I'm trying to bring forth to you is you can be subject to entities through other people um, that you are associated with, okay? And notice this now. What kind of people are coming into your life? What kind of people do you allow in your life, okay? What is the company you are keeping, all right? So if you were like me being the Good Samaritan and the people that you were driving around were also picking up the hitchhiker spirits, as I call them, and then trying to pawn them off, okay, to someone who is not of that vibration. That um, negative vibration hits against the positive vibration and sets off a trigger. So the trigger becomes anger, um, hostility, um, payback, you know, things like that. They want to irritate, um, instigate, all right? Um, so I come out with a spray called Fumigate, okay, the negative energies and entities. Um, not the person. So down the line, um, I get a phone call because I had a business going, um, and it's the person's brother, okay? And they are calling for cleaning service. So when I heard the name, I asked them, are you related to this person? Yes, it's your, you know, my brother. I said, okay, and I told them what was going on, and we had a meeting, and we met, and, um, you know, discussed the cleaning that needed to be done, and also, um, you know, asking this person to assist in getting this person out of my life. So it took a third party to get rid of this, you know, person. And so finally it was done. And I just was like, wow. So when I was thinking about this, the weirdest gift I ever got, uh, squished beer cans, okay, uh, reminded me of how I squished the alcohol you know, um, problem, all right, which could have also uh, affected me because the family I was um, brought up in was full of alcoholism, arguments, fighting, screaming, you know, divorce and all that stuff. And so when you look at your life for the patterns that you might see showing up, um, it may come as a weird gift, okay, to wake you up, to see um what you have accomplished in your life. So from the weirdest gift of a squished beer can, which I can now say that I squished that, you know, um, vibration, that issue of beer cans or alcoholism and just squished it, all right, and threw it in the garbage. It is something that I didn't resonate with. I, I couldn't associate with being in that vibration. So I don't um, judge anyone who is um, a drinker. I don't support them. Um, I just am neutral to it. Uh, so when people come into your life, okay, and they have a vibration that doesn't resonate with yours, did it come from somebody else? Did somebody else push it into your life, um, you know, or did you invite it in? Are you allowing it in, all right? Um, how long are you willing to accommodate that? Whatever it is, it, it could be anything. It could be, you know, alcoholism. It could be tolerating a bad relationship pattern. It could be tolerating, you know, um, clutter. It could be tolerating uh, somebody else's problems, you know, and they're throwing them on you, uh, wasting money, wasting your time, you know, putting in all your efforts, uh, you giving and not receiving. How long are you willing to allow that to go on? See, there is a gift in all this. The gift is waking up, 
all right? So the weirdest gift I ever got, being the squished beer can, um, has a beautiful um, meaning to it, all right, in my life. And I can, you know, see now what it was trying to do. It was trying to give me a choice, the dark against the light, okay? Um, and I chose the light, all right? And so I assisted thousands of people now in their life's journey, all right, from misery to excitement, all right, and it is really a wild ride when you look at your life, where you came from, you know, what you used to do that no longer interests you, um, what you forgot to be doing that is more joyous should be your gift to yourself, okay, so what brings you joy? What brings you fun and excitement for you, not for anybody else? This is a gift we need to give to ourselves. So maybe the weirdest gift that you ever got, okay, is the uh, video right now, all right? You're watching this video, and it's the weirdest video you ever listened to, all right? Because it, it is touching a you know, issue in your, in your heart space. It is waking you up. So it may be the weirdest gift you ever got was a gentle nudge from a video um, and waking you up today to what is the weirdest gift that you could ever give yourself, all right? The gift of love may be weird to you because you never felt loved. You never knew you needed to love yourself and hug yourself and say, I love you, all right? Um, yeah. So when's the last time you said to yourself in the mirror, I love you, you are something else, you are awesome, you are happy, you are very um, loved, you are lovable, you are the gift, okay? So give yourself a gift this year, all right, of love, all right? Don't waste your time and your energy and your feelings and thoughts and emotion on anything or anyone that isn't gifting you back with love and what you're pouring out, all right? So let's um, do a little uh, clearing here for you. Um, so just gently, you know, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, and just breathe normally, all right? And I'm going to run the rings of clarity around your mind and begin to relax the clutter in your mind. It's like chatter, chatter, worry and fear. Okay, um, yeah, there's a lot of opposing energies here. There's a fear. There's a fear around change. There's a fear around letting it go. And what is possible for you when you let it go? Ask yourself, what is possible for my life if I let this thing go? Let's run the rings of possibility around you right now with some motivation. Yeah, that feels really good now. Tranquility, peace, harmony. Allowing yourself to receive the gift. For all that you have poured out, I'm going to ask that the same like kind be poured out to you. So be careful what you're pouring out. Because what you send out comes back to you in like kind. So being generous is great. But being open to receive must be in place as well. So let's have that. Anything not allowing you to receive, let's clear that now. Allow you to receive now. If you like this video, Please subscribe to the channel, watch my other videos, and be aware that I will be speaking on live summits. 
One being Christmas evening at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Transformation Show. We have done this show a couple years in a row, and it is a wonderful time. We give away free MP3s. Oh, just got to be there. You got to be there Christmas night. So after all the presents are opened up, you know, and you're relaxing and unwinding, tune into the program. You will just have a wild time with me. I am going to be, you know, sharing um, a lot of free things on that call. So it's my gift to you for Christmas, okay? Usually I would do Christmas Eve and Christmas. This year um, the opening was for Christmas night. So I am there and I would love to invite you to show up as well. Go underneath this video if you have any comments, if this has um, helped you, or you have something really weird to share, you know, I love it. So, let's be wildly happy, okay, for this day right now. Be wildly happy and cause the happiness that you have, the laughter you have, the smile you have to flow out to everyone that you encounter today. Don't let anybody or anything get in your way of your happiness from this day on, okay? Yes, and have a beautiful day. I will see you on the next video. Thank you.